Hey trader friends out there, how you doing? My name is Nora. Welcome back to my channel. If you can give me an early like, that'll really help the YouTube algorithm. Now guys, today we're going to be talking about Facebook and my thoughts on Facebook, okay? Now, the trading software I'm using is called TradingView. They've got an amazing deal tomorrow. It's going to be Cyber Monday and you can get it for up to 60% off, okay? So please check out my link below. It'll be in the comments and the description and you can get that great Cyber Monday deal. I'll get a small benefit from it, but you'll get a great benefit because you'll have this amazing charting software at your fingertips for the next 13 months, okay? It's not just for 12 months. They give you an extra month. That's a great deal. Okay, so Facebook closed at 277.81. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the overview first. The overview, okay, as you can see, it's steadily rising on this support line here. All right, and she closed at uh, 277.81. And down here in the technicals, it's listed as a buy. Now, this is, this is something that TradeView offers, so you can quickly come down here and see what the analysts are saying. Okay, and if you keep scrolling down, you'll see some different trading ideas and people draw out the charts and what they think is going to happen. And you can see some different ideas that are being put out there. Now people take their time to draw these, um, to draw these trend lines and to draw the, uh, the lines in the chart to show you where they think that Facebook is going to land in the next week or two. But for the most part, you can see that they are making a almost symmetrical triangle and it's, it is an ascending wedge. I will show you, this is Eric's uh, page, he runs stock dweebs, and I'm going to play this for you because I think he did a great job drawing everything out and I tend to actually agree with him as far as where he's got it going. So basically, he's got that support line drawn right here. And you can see the resistance line is above right there. And then you see he has the different price points drawn out. He has it popping up. The first level is about 288. Next one's about 299. And the next one's at 322. Now, it does, if it does happen to go to the downside, he's got you cutting losses at 2. 57 okay i thought i did a great job with that so i want to show you guys that all right but we're going to go back to trading view and we're going to go to ideas and i would say most of the people that have submitted trading ideas have it going long term bullish okay and there's a couple per people on here that think it will be short term bearish such as this one but i happen to believe it's going to be popping up at least to 280 early in the week so if you want to day trade that or scalp that i would definitely um keep an eye on it put it on your watch list now i'm not here to recommend anything i believe you should learn as much as you can so that you can make your own educated decision on how to make these trades i don't really promote people following other youtubers okay or other stock gurus so to speak because if you get used to constantly following these same people what it's doing is even if you have a hundred percent confidence in their trading style their abilities and their call outs what it's doing it's kind of holding you back as far as making as far as making your own educated opinion okay you don't ever want to subscribe to these alerts or to these uh patreons or discords where you're not really thinking for yourself and that's why i promote uh the capitalist academy because we're on here to teach you how to trade okay peter's on there to teach you how to trade i am also a student okay i will just be completely transparent with you i learn every single day but i'm getting better 
and better. But what I'm not doing is going on YouTube or going on someone's Patreon or Discord and copying what they're doing. Even in my own group, they call out some amazing plays. But most of the time, I don't take exactly the same play they do because I'm learning enough to do this on my own, okay? And that's what I'd like to encourage everybody to do. Don't keep going to the same person and thinking that they have the answer and that you can't learn this stuff for yourself. Have confidence in yourself and especially the lady traders out there. Have confidence in yourself that you can come up with these ideas on your own, okay? And you can, okay? Where do you think these traders that are very good at what they do, how do you think they do what they do, okay? They read books, they do research. All this information is out there for you to learn, and a lot of it is out there for free, okay? Get a library book. Read some books about stock trading, okay? I'm not out here to say, hey, follow Nora. Copy what Nora's doing. No, I want you guys to learn and to know the fundamentals and the psychology behind the trading so that you can make these great decisions for yourself. And I think that'll do you a lot of justice, okay? Please believe in yourself and just know that you have the ability to learn this skill, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out my video, and I'll be posting more videos soon. Have a great Monday. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye now.